It's another Monday here with Teacher Jenny. Join me for another topic. This time we're going to talk about solving system of nonlinear equations using elimination method. X squared plus Y squared is equal to 25. Y squared equal to X plus 5 are the equations in our system. And the first one, the first equation here, x squared plus y squared equal to 25 is a circle. And the second equation is a parabola. So solving for the system, we can now use our elimination method by simply um, eliminating a variable with the same exponent. So we can try to rearrange this one. Rearranging this one would mean that we are going to put in line those that are with the same variable and with the same exponent. So we can place x squared here. And then we may copy our equation 1, x squared plus y squared equal to 25. And then we can put our x here um, on the left side. So we have that one as x, negative x, because we're moving here our x on the second equation so we can have it subtracted here, the x, so that we can transfer that one to the other side. So that this will be a zero on the left side here. So we have a negative x plus y squared equal to 25. I mean 5. So after that one, our aim is for us to solve the system using the elimination method. So that means to say, that we have to change our sign here on the y squared because we're using addition and elimination method here to avoid confusion. So what we are going to do here is to multiply the second equation with a negative 1. So we will be multiplying everything here by a negative 1. Forgive me for doing that one, although that might not be technically uh, okay. But what I'm trying to say here is we will be multiplying every single term here in the entire equation by a negative 1 so that we can eliminate our y squared in there using our addition. So multiplying that 1, that would mean we have the second equation as from negative x, that will become a positive x. From a positive y squared, that will become a minus y squared. That will be equal to, from a positive 5, that will become a negative 5. Because we multiply that with a negative 1. Now next, we may copy the first equation. We have x squared plus y squared equal to 25. And then we proceed to addition so that we can eliminate y squared here. And adding x squared and x, that will be... Simply copying x squared plus x, that will be equal to 25 plus negative 5, that is a 20. So this is again quadratic, so we move 20 to the other side. So this will now be x squared plus x. Uh, we're subtracting 20 here so that we can move that to the other side. So we have minus 20 and that's equal to a 0. So right from here, we may try to look for factors of negative 20. Uh, negative 20, you can factor it out using negative 20 as the, the product of the factors. So we will do trial and error, but we, with a, a guide as our third or the constant part here is the product, while the one here in the middle is our sum. So we will be looking for factors of negative 20 so that the sum of the factors will be equivalent to a positive 1. So possible factors could be, since that is negative, the factors, the bigger factor here could be a positive and the smaller factor could be negative. So let's try it out so we can have it as a positive 20 and then multiplied with a negative 1. Those could be the factors. Trying it out, we can add up 20 and then negative 1. That's equal to 19. And then since that is not equivalent to 1, we can go for another factor. We can try out 10 and negative 2. That's equal to negative 20 still. So 10 plus negative 2, that's equal to a positive 8. That's not the one that we're looking for as the sum. So we go for looking for more 
uh, factors. We have four and five, so we have four as the negative, and then we have five as the positive, because five is bigger than four. So we have to add up five plus negative four, or negative four plus five, that's equal to a one, in which that is our sum in the middle. So we can factor this one out using those factors that we have come up with. We have our square root of x squared, that's an x. And the other factor must have also an x. Then we copy everything or the factor that we have tried out, which got a sum which is positive 1. We have negative 4, we have positive 5. Just copy that one as part of the factor, and that will be equal to a 0. So we can now solve for x by e equating our factors. x minus 4 equal to 0, and then x plus 5 equal to a 0. Our x here is 4, while the other x is negative 5. So those are the values of your x. And then we are going to try to solve for our y. So solving for y here is simply uh, choosing the right equation for you. You may choose uh, 1 or 2 as the equation that you can replace your x with. So let's try having... Um, let me just have the second equation here. So my second equation is, this is by the way solving for x already. So we can use any of the equation, but for me, I'm choosing y squared equal to x plus 5. So right from here, if my x is equal to 4, I'll be replacing x here with 4. So y squared will be equal to a 4 plus 5. Our y squared is equal to a 9, uh, square root of that one, so that we can get our y. Our y is equal to positive negative 3. That is when our x is a 4. So if your x is a negative 5, we can replace again our x on the second equation. So we can have y squared equal to our x is negative 5, our Adding that one with plus, oh, adding that one with 5, we have y squared equal to a 0 for that, getting the square root of that one since we're solving for y. Sorry on the caption that I've written here that should be solving for y. Okay. So our y here will be equal to a 0. So We've got our points here. When x is 4, our y value is 3. And the other one is when x is 4, our value is negative 3. The other one is when x is negative 5, the y value is a 0. So let's try to check it out. So you may check that one. Or if you are confident with your answer, you may not check that one really. So anyways... We can have x squared plus y squared equal to 25. So I'll be writing that one down so that I can check everything else in one go. So using our first point here, we have 4, 3. So we have that as 4 squared plus 3 squared will that be equal to 25. So we have 4 squared 16, and then we have a 9 here equal to 25. We have that as 25 equal to 25, so that means we're correct on that one. Uh, when checking on our other uh, equation, we can have it as y squared equal to x plus 5. This is another equation, and again, I'm uh, checking on the point for 3. So for y, we have that as 3 squared equal to our x is 4, and then plus 5 will not be equal to the other, or the the left and right, or will, will the expressions on the left and the right be equal? So anyways, 3 squared is 9, that's equal to 4 plus 5 is a 9. So that's correct. You can also go through with checking the other points here. So we can have the same um, equation. First equation, we have x squared plus y squared equal to 25. 
we can use 4 and negative 3. So we have 4 squared plus negative 3 squared. That's equal to a 25. So 4 squared, 16. And then we have a 9 here equal to 25. This is still 25. So that's still equal to 25. So going over with the next point, we have 4 and negative 3 on the second equation. We have y squared. y is negative 3. Squaring that 1 will that be equal to our x plus 5. Our x is 4. And then our, we have a plus 5 here. Negative 3 squared is 9. And that's equal to a 9. So let's go and check for the other points. We have, I mean point. We have here negative 5, 0. So replacing x squared plus y squared. Um, equal to 25 here, replacing our x and y, we have negative 5 squared plus 0 squared. That's equal to a 25. This one is 25 plus 0. That's 25 still. So 25 is to equal to 25. So another one here, we have y squared equal to x plus 5. Our y is 0, squaring that 1. That's equal to our x is negative 5 added with 5. 0 is equal to a 0. So that means to say all our points are the solution of our system.